This week's Michigan Lottery Excellence in Education winner is Nick Bierman from Swartz Creek Schools. We have a video from your nominator. Take a look. Okay. Mr. Bierman, you're what it means to be excellent in education. Not only are you so passionate about what you do, but you know everything there is to know about history and government. You make your classroom a supportive and engaging place to learn, and every single day you have positive interactions with us students. Even without you as a teacher now, you remain a mentor for me and many others. Congratulations, Mr. Beerman. The student also wrote an amazing letter saying that you've really changed his life. What goes through your mind when you hear that and, and see the video? Um, Jacob is an amazing student in and of his own right, without a doubt. Uh, those words, uh, I don't know. It's hard to take in a little bit. Uh, it's not something that you expect to hear, I think, as a teacher. We just kind of go about our business and do our things on a daily basis. And to get recognized like that and to realize that maybe we are making impact on a bigger level than what sometimes we think. Uh, it's just really overwhelming uh, in many ways. It's always great to get letters from students uh, nominating their teachers and, and he goes on to say that you have been willing to take time out even after class to read essays to help him out even after um, you know extra time mm -hmm. that you've spent helping him do that. Why, why would you do that? It's just what teachers do, as the simple answer. Um, I don't think it's anything special or extra. Uh, it's just what I'm there for. That's what I signed up for many years ago, and I maybe I don't grade as much as I could every, you know, every single day, but I wish I, I could get through more. Um, but that's, that's what a, the job is, and I, I love it. I love it every day, working with students like, like Jacob and so many others that have come into my classroom doors over the years. Uh, the awesome staff that we have at Swartz Creek High School, and the whole experience here is it's a little bit humbling to be honest with you I, I think of all the other staff members that work in my building and down my hallway and the teachers my my sons have they could just as easily be sitting in this chair right now um they're that good and they push me to be a better teacher every single day so it's just a an awesome experience and an awesome honor to to even be here today and and why do you teach you know it, i've always been very strong with personal connections um, at one point I thought about the world of computer science and I found myself computer labs by myself late at night and uh, I ended up shifting out of that pretty early in college and just the engagement I have on a daily basis. Um, I certainly love the interaction with the students, I love my content areas um, and just trying to bring a little bit of that to them um, with my passion and my excitement and maybe more sometimes than some of them want to but uh, all that being said I, I, it's nice to know again that they walk out of my room and hopefully in most cases uh, a little better off than when they came in that day. What's it like for you when you see the, the student comprehends what you've been teaching him or her and you know you're teaching government and US history sometimes not easy subjects. Yeah it is tricky um, sometimes those are the most boring subjects for a lot of students you try to find the innovative ways uh, sometimes it's through content itself sometimes it's a topical issue sometimes it's just through being a person, communicating with another person and getting them to buy into you on a, on a human level. Uh, if that's that connection and that personal relationship that you have, uh, all those things go together and then hopefully once, once all that you know, is stirred up, uh, you end up with a perfect recipe at the end. And I, I'm gonna make an assumption that these kids may be your student for a year or two, but they're in your life a lot longer than that. Uh, I hear a lot from ex-students, yeah. Um, one of the greatest things I ever hear from students is, especially in the world of government where I teach most of my, most of my day, um, is when they vote for the first time. Um, yeah, I went to vote today and I understood what was going on. Um, I was so happy and they'll send me a, a text or a picture of uh, their I voted sticker. And uh, so living in the same town where I teach as well, I, I see the families at the, at the, the supermarket all the time. Um, so yeah, I definitely stay in touch with my students and it's, it's awesome to hear how awesome they're doing and especially like Jacob in this case, uh, where he's gonna go in life. You must have little celebrations when they send you that picture of them I voted. You know, it is kind of a, an I win moment in here for me a little bit, like all those years where maybe you didn't completely understand what I was saying, but you finally figured it out and you finally are being a productive member of society and a great citizen, which is really what I hope for all my students. Well, thank you for what you do. Congratulations.